plant seedling. Then in that particular case, it is showing three basic parts that is root, stem and leaves. Now let's distinguish between the root and the stem. You all know right from 11th standard, root is direct elongation of the radical, stem is direct elongation of the plumule. Root is going downwards. It goes downwards. So it is descending axis. Stem is going upwards. So it is ascending axis. Root is non-green in color. Whereas the stem, when young, it is green in color. Root is devoid of, that means absence of leaves, nodes, internodes, plants, fruits, buds, etc. Yes, up root may absent. Hai. Ye sari ki sari cheeze stem may present. Hai. Root may lateral branches hai. Stem may be lateral branches hai. Lekin in dono ka origin alag alag hai. In the case of root, they are endogenous in origin. Andar ke layer se aare hai. Whereas in the case of stem, they are exogenous in origin. Bahar se hai. Ab any particular stem you take. Rose stem, tulsi plant stem, papaya stem. You take it. You try to break it. You will see the lateral branches are from the external layers. Since they are the, from the external layers, you can immediately cut them off. Whereas you take uproot a particular dicot plant and you try to remove the lateral branches, you will not be able to remove. Why? Because they are from the inner layers. That is endogenous in origin. Roots are said to be positively geotropic and hydrotropic, whereas stem is said to be negatively geo and hydrotropic. Root is said to be negatively phototropic and aerotropic, whereas stem is said to be positively phototropic and aerotropic. Function of root is fixation, absorption, conduction. Whereas function of stem is only conduction. Prepared food, it is conducting from the leaves to the different parts. Whereas it is conducting the raw material and water from the roots to the leaves. Any form, it is conduction. Okay. Now the same thing, we are going to see it over here in lesson number four in the synopsis. Root. There are two main types of root. The one which is directly from the radical is called as a taproot. Taproot se rad radical to banta hai, lekin wo radical baad mein disintegrate ho jata hai. To stem ka base mein se roots aata hai, that is called as fibrous roots. Or you can call it as adventitious root system. So two root systems are there. In plants having taproot system, the radical develops into primary root. It goes vertically into the soil and becomes the main root or the taproot. Taproot system is characteristic of the dicotyledonous plants. Roots may ar arise, which arise from any part of the plant other than the radical are called as adventitious roots. Any cause stem, se ho, leaves, se ho, nodes, se ho, kahi se bhi hone do. They are said to be adventitious roots. Fibrous root system is a type of adventitious root system. It is most common in monocots. Roots consist of four major zones. That is a root cap. It may be a single root cap or it may be multiple root caps. This root cap is basically meant for protecting the delicate region that is the meristematic zone, wherein the cells are dividing and redividing. Then comes the next zone that is zone of elongation, cell elongation. And the last one is the zone of maturation. The cap-like structure made up of thin walled cells that covers the root apex is called as a root cap. The root cap is also known as scalyptra. Made of dead cells protects the young growing cells of the apical region. Meristematic cell zone, it is present just above the root cap. It is made up of compactly arranged, small, thin-walled, isodiametric and meristematic cells having dense protoplasm and large nucleus. The cells of the meristematic region are in active state of division and so this is the main growing region of the root. The region of cell elongation is present above the meristematic zone. The cells of this zone elongate rapidly, resulting in increase in the length of the root. The external cells of the region possess the power of absorption of water and mineral salts from the soil. Above the cell elongation zone is present the cell maturation zone. Secondary growth takes place in this region. Unicellular and ephemeral root hairs are present, are formed. From the epidermal cells in this zone, the root hair region is called as pediferous zone. Then root modifications. Like your normal function is studying. But during Ganpati time, during Diwali time, or during your birthday party, your function is modified. You start helping your mama. Maybe organizing the room, maybe decorating the house, maybe in kitchen you're helping her, maybe arranging the table. Correct or no? 
you help her. So that is a modification of yours. Same way, roots are also modified. Taproot systems are modified into fleshy roots, nodule, nodulated roots, pneumatophores, and root butters. Fleshy roots. Roots become swollen and fleshy for storage. Fleshy root may be conical, example, Lucas carota, that is a carrot which are eating. Cruciform root, example, raffinus satigum, that is radish, that is muli. Nappiform root, brassica napus, or tuberous, example, mirabilis jalapa. Another example of tuberous root is your the sweet potato, that is sakarya. Nodulated roots. Roots develop numerous small or large irregular swellings called as root nodules or tubercles. Example, leguminous roots. Respiratory roots, that is pneumatophores. The plants which are growing in marshy places, they do not get sufficient amount of oxygen. That marshy area is deficient of oxygen. So the roots are coming towards the aerial side. They become positively phototropic. Then these roots are having pore like openings called lenticels or pneumatophores. It is these particular roots which are helpful for gaseous exchange and hence called as breathing roots. Respiratory roots or pneumatophores. Erect roots, negatively geotropic, usually club shaped, with which protrude some distance above the substratum. They may they have minute pores called as pneumatodes or lenticels for the intake of oxygen. Example, Elysenia. Root butteress, horizontal tuft of roots arising from the base of the taproot and the trunk for extra support. Example, rubber tree. It's at the base only. You can see it. Banyan tree may be apne dekhoega. From the base only, you can see them. So they are called as butteress roots. Some adventitious roots modify to provide mechanical support, like prop roots or stilt roots. Prop roots are observed in banyan tree. Uska upper se branching hai. That branch is giving rise to roots and they go into the soil, acting as pillars. You must have seen in some of the movies and all that things, branching ke log jula bana lete hain. even you all start hanging on those branches. These branches are nothing, but they are having the roots over there. These roots will come in contact with the soil and give additional support for the branch to remain over there intact. They are called as prop roots. Next one is from the basal nodal regions. Certain roots are given out which will enter vertically or obliquely in the soil, called as stilt roots. And the climber roots, in the case of your know, this money plant, pathos, you'll have come across the climber root. Prop roots arrive from the branches of the plants and enter the soil to provide support in huge trees. Example, ficus bengalensis, that is banyan tree. Still roots are the aerial, obliquely growing roots formed from the nodes of the lowermost portion of the stem and fixed firmly to the soil, that is zea maize, monocot plants. Next, root modification for storage, for vital functions and for miscellaneous functions. For storage, you have taproot system and adventitious root system. Taproot may your fusiform root, that is spindle shape, your this muli, conical nappy form, that is your beetroot, or you can say turnip also, salgam jisko bolte ya. Then conical root, that is nothing but your carrot. Another one is tuberous root, that is in the case of four o'clock, mirabilis jalapa. Adventitious roots, that is the roots arising from the stem. They are from the radical. Correct? Now these are arising from the stem. Fasciculated roots, example, dahlia. Nodulus, example, curcuma. That is your uh, sapna. Haldi. Correct? Turmeric. Annulated root, example, cephalis. This you will not know because you are not eating in regular life. I have never seen it. Monoliform root, that is example, vitis, that is grapes. Tuberous root, example, Iponia, that is again your sweet potato. Palmate root, that is a orchis. Then for vital functions, you have assimilatory roots. Example is Tinospora. Respiratory roots or pneumatophores, that is example, Avicenia. Floating roots, Uticularia, that is nothing but your insectivorous plant. For miscellaneous functions, clinging roots, in the case of orchids, you had come across two roots. One was silvery gray roots, which were, which were having a special type of tissue called as velamen tissue, and thin wiry roots, which are twining around the host. Those thin wiry roots are nothing but the clinging roots, mainly meant for support. Epiphytic roots, again, is the orchid I just told you, having a special type of tissue, velamen. The tissue is hygroscopic in nature, absorbing the moisture with help of green leaves preparing on food. Parasitic roots in the case of cascuta. 
the plant is leafless plant it is non green in color so definitely this particular plant is depending on the host plant for its food material prepared food so this plant is sending some projections inside the host plant so that it can suck the food and come and those roots which it is sending into the host plant in turn are called as parasitic roots why because they are arising from the parasitic plant they can also be called as sucking roots correct because they are sucking the food material from the host plant they can also be called as hostoria because they are clinging to the host plant they are attached they are entering inside tightly attached they are that's why then epiphytus root example calanchu that is in the case of a biophyllum leaf and all such things where you see that uh, roots are arising on the leaves or from the leaves you can say reproductive roots example mauria aap kadi patta khate ho na ye mauria kadi patta hai usme reproductive roots hai wo jhad jab aap ugate ho na to stem cutting se nahi uga sakte kadi patta ka jhad uska root se roots ka jhad hota hai that's why we get patta next system the aerial part of the stem that develops from the plumule and bears leaves flowers fruits etc modifications of stem are of three types ek zameen ke niche ek zameen ke sath mein ek zameen ke upar so underground stem sub aerial modification and aerial modification modified underground stems are of following types namely stem tuber that is branch of the main stem which possesses the axillary buds or the eyes and swells due to food stored in it example solanum tuberoso that is nothing but your potato rhizome that is ginger a perennial fleshy underground stem having nodes and internodes example ginger apne ginger pe kabhi aisa line line dekha hoga na that line line is nothing but there is a nodal region the distance in between the two nodal region in turn we call it as internode the distance in between the two nodal regions we call it as internode just you know conical root fusiform root napiform root simple root fasciculated root molniform root correct this is nothing but nematophore root and this is the tap root system and this is the fibrous root system nodulus root over here once again then the maize plant is showing the presence of the stilt root correct this is nothing but bunion tree ka prop root from the branches you can see it is coming downwards correct climbing roots in the case of a mani plant then clinging roots in the case of a epiphytic plant plank roots can also be called as buttress roots correct they are arising from the base correct then you have spongy roots then you have sucking roots that is the parasitic root c ostoria correct then the epiphytic roots they can fleshy in the case of orchid then coming to the stem which we were doing right now stem tuber that is your potato ginger just see over here you can see the lines the lines are the nodal region the distance in between the two nodal region is nothing but the internode you can see the buds at the nodal region that is nothing but the axillary bud the tip pe bud hai that is nothing but the terminal bud or the apical bud agreed and the roots are arising from this stem so it is called as adventitious roots agreed i showed you the pictures also directly so it is very clear to you rhizome a perennial fleshy underground stem having nodes and internodes example ginger form a sub spherical branched stem growing vertically inside the soil possesses adventitious roots at the base of the nodes axillary buds in the axil of the scale that is example colocasia gladiolus colocasia is nothing but it is your sapna arbi khate ho na kachalu wo wala hota hai कौन ये देखो एलिफेंट फुट करेक्ट यू हैव द अनदर वन दैट इज बल्ब बल्ब इज हाईली रिड्यूस्ड डिस्क लाइक स्टेम व्हिच न्यूमरस फ्लेशी विद न्यूमरस फ्लेशी स्केली लीव्स कवरिंग द सेंट्रल टर्मिनल बड एडवांटेजस रूट्स अराइज फ्रॉम द अंडर सरफेस ऑफ द एग्जांपल एलियम एलियम सीपा और एलियम सटाइवम एलियम सटाइवम इज योर गार्लिक लहसुन जो खाते हो वो इज योर प्याज अच्छा अदरक होता है वो दिस इज द कंडेंस्ड स्टेम हां हेलो दिस इज द कंडेंस्ड स्टेम इट विल बी शोइंग द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एडवांटेजस रूट्स 
here you can see this apical bud or the terminal in between these fleshy leaves there is a transparent covering that is nothing but the scaly leaves correct when you grow this supposing a sad gaya aap pekna nahi chahte to zameen mein dal do gaad do it will give rise to a new plant which will be bearing green color leaves that is spring onion so those are the foliage leaves so foliage leaves fleshy leaves scaly leaves apical bud everything is edible roots and stem ko discard kar dete mamma will discard this much portion wo chai knife ka point se itna portion nikal ke fek deti hai that is condensed stem she will discard it the rest of the portion is eaten up that is your onion the same way you have garlic just see each individual bud is a fleshy leaf correct they are uniting together to form a bulb like structure aerial modifications of the are of some foreign types stem in tendril find sensitive thread like sensitive structures which are which can coil around a support example cucurbita ye raha aapka ye ye paisi flora ka hai aise aur kisi ka bhi rehta hai that is cucurbita wagera ka lekin usme patta alag style karega cucurbita mein you have this type of leaves see here tendrils by the structures coming in contact with the soil by because the stem is weak next is phylloclade flattened example opentia or cylindrical example casuarina euphorbia royal lily green fleshy structures which bear in place of nodes and internodes and to help to perform photosynthesis right? that is a function like leaves this is nothing but opentia Now in this there are many internodes. It is a flattened leaf-like structure. The leaves are modified over here into spines to reduce the rate of transpiration. And this particular stem-like structure, sorry, the leaf-like structure has stored the water content and kept with it. So it is said to be a succulent xerophyte. Because zero amount of water may occur, it desert may occur. So it is said to be a succulent xerophyte. Correct? It has water stored in it and kept it. and being flat and green color structure it is doing the function of photosynthesis since there are many internodes we call this as phylloclade the same way you have this particular structure there are five to six structures but there is only one internode because there is only one internode it is called as cladode you have many internodes you have one internode and both are aerial modifications of stem both are doing the function of photosynthesis only fun difference over here is many internodes and your difference is single internode correct example over here is opentia example over here is cladode this is a succulent xerophyte this is a non succulent xerophyte here the leaves are modified into spines here the leaves are modified into scales correct cladodes cladophils green stems of limited growth generally one or two internode long and performing the function of photosynthesis example asparagus that is shatavari one internode long thorns stiff pointed structures apne bougainvillea dekha hai na raste pe milta hai pink color or yellow orange color white color and all such things three aisa papery structures rehta hai wo fencing mein lagate hain wo log usme aap dekho kaate kitne mote mote hai ekdam hard hai wo so that is nothing but thorns stiff hard pointed structure that perform defensive functions and check the transpiration example citrus durenta thalamus flower is a specialized reproductive shoot which possesses highly condensed axis called as thalamus or torus or receptacle when you come to that flower we are going to say the word receptacle also thalamus bears four types of floral organs that is sepals petals stamens and carpels carpets nahi carpels each forms their own from their own nodes then is sub aerial modification are of following four types runner green above the ground surface horizontal branches which develop at the base of erect shoots which are called as which are called as crowns example cynodon dactylion that is your grass correct cynodon dactylion that is nothing but the grass see this another one that is strawberry ka function uh, this runner running horizontally along with the soil surface thin cylindrical structures at the nodal region it gives rise 
to AL side that is the lease on the underground software that will give rise to advantageous routes. Correct? Long internal. Again, it will give rise to the aerial side lease and on the underground side nodes. So this particular part is said to be the runner. Example is cyanidon, oxalis, then hydrocotyl, then you have the sapna, strawberry, etc. Then stolons, elongated horizontal. Horizontal growing underground stems that give rise to branches which come out of the soil. The lower portion of the nodes gives rise to its roots. Example, Fargaria, that is strawberry, jasminum, jasmine, colocasia, etc. Here they go stolon. Jamin Sopazaga will take a turn, come downwards, give rise to roots and all that. In the case of fawn, also you come across this. Again, Jamin ke upar jayega, fir it will take a turn and come downwards. Last time I told you as a walking fawn, adiantum. Correct? The same way. Then you have Sakka. Formed from the nodes of the underground stem. Stem and the Sakka both grow horizontally under the soil, but Sakka comes up obliquely in the form of leafy shoot. Correct? Just see how it is growing underground. But then it is coming upar which is showing the leafy shoot, correct? So this becomes a succor. It is observed in the case of Christine. Both grow horizontally under the soil, but succor comes up obliquely in the form of leafy shoot. Example, chrysanthemum. Offset, one internode long, short and thickened, special horizontal branches. That develop a tuft of rosette of leaves at the nodes, adventitious roots develop from below the rosette. Example, Pistia, Iconia, Water Helicenta. Last time I told you how it is. See here. This is the offset. Why? Because it is showing the air and climate tissue inside it. Air filled spaces. Correct? And that example was this one was Iconia, whereas this is nothing but Pistia. Then comes to leaf. A leaf consists of three parts, leaf base, petiole, and the lamina. Leaf base is also called as hypopodium. Petiole can also be called as mesopodium, whereas lamina can be called as epipodium. Hypopodium is the lowermost part of the leaf and is joined to the node of the stem. It may be pulvinous, that is having a swollen leaf base. Correct? Aapne mango ka leaf dekho hai ka. So the swollen hai, niche ki taraf. So it is having a swollen leaf base. Or it may be having sheathing leaf base. Banana ka leaf base ka hai. It is covering the stem, so it is called a sheathing leaf base. Decurrent or ampiplexis. In pulvinous leaf, leaf base is swollen and the leaf is easy to pluck due to weak attachment with the stem. Example, mango, pea, gram, bunion, etc. In some plants, the leaf base consists of small appendages at both the sides and these appendages are called as stipules. Many stipules perform the function of protection of the leaves. leaf base This is nothing but the stipule. Correct? No, sorry, this is the bud. Correct? This portion is a stipule. Lateral appendage. Correct? Next, petiole. That is mesopodium. It is a cylindrical. It is a cylindrical or subcylindrical smooth or grooved stalk of the leaf, which connects the lamina with the stem. That is, the leaf having the petiole is called as petiolated, and the one which is devoid of the petiole is called as sessile. Epiphodium or leaf blade. Green flattened part of the leaf performing the important function of photosynthesis, transpiration, and respiration. Depending upon the incision of the lamina, leaves can be simple, smooth, or incised margins. Incisions cannot can be up to the midrib on compound. That is, incisions reach the dividing leaf into leaflets. Kadi patta jaise apka hai, chote chote patti hai wo. Ek patte ke chote chote patti hai. That is leaflets. Correct. So that is called as a compound leaf. Shoe flower. Apka hai bhi Simple leaf. Banana. The banana tree. Simple leaf. Banyan. People. Simple leaf. Mango. Simple leaf. Isa. Rose. It is having a compound leaf. The arrangement of the veins and the veinlets on the leaf is called as venation. In parallel venation, the veins are running parallel to each other, generally in monocot and rarely in some dicot leaves. 
correct? Aeriginum, calophyllum, etc. In reticulate venation, main vein, by forming the number of branches, in, it is forming a network, correct? Network like structure in the leaf. It is generally from observed in the case of dicots, rarely in monocots. And the example for that is nothing but your smilax or dioscoria. One more example. Then phyllotaxy. If you see randomly, the leaves are arranged haphazardly. But if you pluck a small branch of the plant or a twig of the plant, you will see the leaves are having a specific mode of arrangement. As you all have a specific mode of sitting arrangement, or when you're on the ground, you have a specific mode of standing. The same way, there is a specific mode of arrangement of the leaves. At the nodal region, if there is only one leaf, we call it as alternate phyllotaxy. At nodal region, there are two leaves, we call it as opposite phyllotaxy. At nodal region, there are more than two leaves, we call it as burr phyllotaxy. Correct? When it is alternate phyllotaxy, example is your hibiscus. When it is burr phyllotaxy, example is nerium or carnair. Carnair is a common name, nerium is a botanical name. And the botanical name is oleandra. Next is opposite. At the nodal region, two leaves are there. Now, these two leaves may be present one above the other on either side of the stem, right, forming two vertical rows. Or they may be at right angles to the successive nodal region. One is this way, the other one will be this way, nodal region. The third one will be this way, the fourth one will be this way. Means they are forming four vertical rows. So, opposite is further divided into two opposite superposed and opposite decussed. Opposite superposed, one above the other. Opposite decussed, perpendicular to the successive nodal regions. Correct? Phyllotaxy is the arrangement of the leaves on the, on the true stem and the, its branches. It facilitates the leaves to obtain maximum light for photosynthesis. It may be of the following types. Alternative or spiral arrangement. Only one leaf at the, is born at the node. And the leaves of the adjacent nodes roughly lie towards the opposite side. Example, two flower. Opposite arrangement. Each node gives rise to two leaves arranged opposite to each other. Example, calotropis. Ball phyrotaxy. More than two leaves are formed each, from each node, which are arranged in a whorl. Example, alstonia, nerium, venugia, etc. Then leaves are modified. Leaves are modified into leaf tendrils, helping in climbing. Why? Because the stem is weak. It will help in climbing. The leaf plays, the leaf parts, either it may be the stipule, or it may be the petiole, or it may be the apex, or it may be the entire lamina, whatever it is. Either the leaf or its part is getting modified to do additional function. Correct? That is called as leaf modification. Leaf tendrils, helping in climbing, help in climbing the leaf parts which get modified into tendril are stipules. That is in smilax, tendril are stipules. Correct? In smilax, you come across tendril are stipules. I'll just see what all the diagram is there. Yeah. Or stipular tendrils. Stipules are getting modified into this thin wiry structures. Leaflet tendrils. Leaf, leaflets are getting modified into tendrils. That is observed in the case of P. Pisum satigum. Leaf apex tendril, observed in Gloriosa. The tip of the leaf is getting coiled into a uh, this. So the neighboring ob object it get coils. Correct for the support. Health in climbing. No, 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 Alternate phyllotaxy, ball phyllotaxy, opposite superposed phyllotaxy, opposite decussate phyllotaxy. Aapka textbook mein ta. Correct, one this way and 90 degree. Again this way, again 90 degree. I saw. Then, the leaf part, which is getting modified into tendril, astipules in smilax, petiole in case of clematis, Leaflets, example, Gloriosa. No. Leaflets, no. Leaflets, no. Leaf apex is Gloriosa. Make a change over there. Leaf apex is Gloriosa. Whole leaf, example, is whole leaf, no. Whole leaflet it is. Or not even the word whole. Make it as leaflet only. Leaflet, example, Litherus or Pisum sativum. 
correct just do the changes over here leaf apex gloriosa leaf apex likho ya leaf tip tendril likho jo bhi hai wo and then leaf led tendril is your next is leaf spines protect the plant from grazing animals and reduce transpiration stipules may also get modified into spines example zizipus zizipus nothing a boar wo amdavadi boar khate ho na wo wala plant zizipus correct next is phyllodes or that is the petiole and doing the function of photosynthesis so it is called as phyllode is the different between phyllode and phyloclade phyloclade is modification of stem phyllode is modification of leaves in the case of phyloclade there are many internodes there are nodes and internodes in phyllode there are no nodes and internodes be careful about this agreed petiole modified into leaf like structure example parkinson owl antenna and auric acacia auriculiformis leaf bladders leaf is modified into a bladder example uticlera bladder wart insectivorous you can say leaf pitcher lamina is modified into a large pitcher like structure napianthus insectivorous plants correct then succulent leaves leaves are sucking the water and keeping it in a case of a bryophyllum and also things again you are the sapna aloe vera it has sucked the water and it has kept correct fleshy or swollen leaves that help to store water mucilage or food materials example aloe again bryophyllum portulaca next is leaf hooks leaflets modified into stiff claw like structure like anchor it is going and taking the support so it is called as leaf hooks like curved hooks helping the plant in climbing example bignonia is one of the another example over here common one bignonia or doxanthia which is a cacti next is inflorescence inflorescence is nothing but if it is a single flower you call it a solitary but if it is a bunch of flower then we call it as inflorescence because the flowers are very tiny they are not visible to us also to forget about the insects so for that reason the creator has done it they have a specific mode of arrangement and that mode of arrangement of the flowers on the floral axis is called as inflorescence the floral axis is called as peduncle correct the floral axis is now called as ped uncle in process is arrangement of the flowers on the floral axis that is peduncle it its types are summarized in the given flow chart basically there are two different types correct one is racemos and the other one is cymos it is time uh, one is racemos and the other one is cymos racemos the apical part is not getting converted into flower cymos the apical bud converted into flower racemos indefinite growth cymos definite growth correct in racemos the older flowers are towards the base and the younger one towards the apex in cymos the older one is towards the apex and the younger one towards the base so this arrangement we call it for racemos as acropetal arrangement kyunki wo aisa rehta hai ye apical bud older towards the base younger towards the apex ye cymos apical bud converted into flower then younger ones so this is called as acropetal arrangement and this is called as basipetal arrangement when i condense the floral axis the older one will be going towards the outer side periphery the younger one will be in the center so this arrangement we call it as centripetal arrangement when i condense this floral axis the older one will be in the center the younger one will be towards the periphery like this arrangement i call it as centrifugal arrangement see the words are given over there centripetal centrifugal basipetal acropetal hope the meaning is very clear now correct it is having independent growth this is having definite growth apical bud not converted into flower apical bud converted into flower acropetal arrangement that is older towards the base and younger towards the apex basipetal arrangement older at the apex and younger at the base centripetal older towards the periphery outside and younger in the center here it is centrifugal arrangement older in the center younger towards the outer side correct towards the periphery now iske alawa there are other than this some types are there abhi racemos mein bhi types hai ek hai spike 
आपके घर पे चौली वगैरह आती है ना ग्रीन चौली लाल माट की बाजी तो उसमें भी कभी कभी आपने इंफ्लोसेंस देखा होगा उसमें देखो आप प्लास टिंटी मिंटी है लेकिन उसको दंडी नहीं है पेटिसल नहीं है तो जया यू कैन से ससाइल प्लास दो ससाइल प्लास इन टर्न आर कॉल्ड एज स्पाइक इंफ्लोसेंस वो भी नीचे वाला मेच्योर्ड है ऊपर छोटे 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 टिप पे एकदम छोटा होता है तो दैट इज द रेसी मोस्ट टाइप but because this particular racemos type the plants individual florets are not having the pedicel so we call them as sessile flowers and that is the reason why the inflorescence is called as spike inflorescence correct aapka gulmohar mein pedicel hai red flower ko so that is the racemos abhi usme se bhi ye mera ek hai ye apical bud ye lateral branch ye apical bud uska either flowers hai ye lateral branch ye apical bud uska either flowers hai ये एक रसी में ये ओल्डर फ्ला यंगर फ्ला करेक्ट लेकिन उसमें ब्रांच आया है फ्लावर की जगह ब्रांच है ब्रांच में फ्लावर अरेंज इन एक्रोपिटल ऑर्डर तो सेम वे लीज लैटरल ब्रांचेस आर अरेंज इन एक्रोपिटल ऑर्डर तो ये रसीम ये रसीम तो रसीम ऑफ रसीम और कंपाउंड रसीम इज कॉल्ड एज पैनिकल इंफ्लोसेंस कंपाउंड रसीम इज कॉल्ड एज पैनिकल इंफ्लोसेंस Which is observed in the case of your this sapna, क्या बोलते हैं उस मेज जवार बाजरा etc. Correct? दूसरा है आपने this acalypha का plant देखा होगा alpha alpha का plant देखा होगा otherwise. उसमें आपको ये ये जो बिल्ली की पूछ आती है ना वैसे इस तरह का influence दिखेगा red color का. All the flowers tiny tiny like a tiles and uh, cat tail. तो वी कॉल इट एज कैटकिन करेक्ट नदर वन इज यू मस्ट सीन द इन्फ्लोसेंस विच इज नाउ अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट ऑल्सो दैट इज ऑरेंज कलर फ्लावर्स एंड ऑल सच थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट बनाने के जैसे प्लांट्स रहता है वो पत्ते वगैरह रहते हैं और एल्स यू कैन सी द रेड कलर लीफ एंड द पॉइंटेड कॉनिकल शेप येलो कलर स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज पैडिक्स इन्फ्लोसेंस करेक्ट अनदर वन इज योर कोरियम Which is observed in the case of Iberis, which all have not seen it. It is not available with the floral bouquet walas also. One thing that you have seen is soft. You have seen regular soft. In your house, there is a tree which has flowers. It is like a tree like a tree. The fresh one, soft, is also like a tree like a tree. So that we call it as an umbel in process. Onion is also there. Coriander is also there. Correct. As well as in the cumin, it is also there. Fennel is also there. Fennel is nothing but soft. You must have seen that sunflower in process. It is forming a head or a capital. In between, there is disc floret. In periphery, there is ray floret. Correct? That is capital in process. Then you have compound racemos. This racemos. Here, see the panicle that I have told you already. Correct? All these are that type of in process only. Agreed? Then there is a solitary in process. That means it is a single flower. टू फ्लावर अकेला है रोज अकेला है इट इज सोलिटरी इन्फ्लोसेंस करेक्ट लेकिन वो टर्मिनल बट से है कि एक्सिलरी बट से है तो उसके हिसाब से उसको नाम देते हैं सोलिटरी टर्मिनल सोलिटरी एक्सिलरी ऐसा देन साइमोज इन्फ्लोसेंस में ब्रांचिंग आता है एक ब्रांचिंग है तो मोनोकेशल साइन दो ब्रांचिंग है तो डायकेशल साइन दो से ज्यादा है तो पॉलीकेशल साइन अभी मोनोकेशल साइन अगर जो है तो उसमें ब्रांचिंग ऐसा है ना एक यहां से राइट लेफ्ट राइट लेफ्ट ऐसा होएगा करेक्ट तो वो बैलेंसिंग हो जाता है करेक्ट इफ इट इज राइट लेफ्ट राइट लेफ्ट इट इज बैलेंसिंग देन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस वी कॉल इट एज स्कॉर्पियो इन्फ्लोसेंस वेयर इज सक्सेस हां सी एंड द अदर वन व्हिच इज ओनली ऑन वन साइड राइट साइड टू राइट साइड लेफ्ट साइड टू लेफ्ट साइड देन यू कॉल इट एज हेलिकॉइड इन्फ्लोसेंस जस्ट सी ओवर या हेलिकॉइड इन्फ्लोसेंस Lateral branches develop successively on the same side. Example: bignonia, bignonia. There is scorpion inflorescence. Successive lateral branches develop on opposite sides. Example: tricona. Or you can say another one is helotropium. Like so. Back issue is same. Always in pairs. The branching will be always in pair. Correct. Then you call it as back issue is same. More than two. Then you call it as polycasial same. Helotropies. आपने इसका देखा होगा रूही का आकरे का जाड़ रूही आकनो जाड़ विच आर कॉमनली कॉल इट एज कैलाट्रॉपिस सैटरडे आज है ना हनुमान जी के मंदिर के बाहर वो मिलता है उसका गार्लैंड वगैरह वो फ्लास्क को पर्पल कलर का रहता है लेवेंडर कलर का लाइट पर्पल 
करेक्ट मूव मूव कलर योर क्वालिटाइज वो वाला फ्लैश का देखो आप अभी प्लांट में देखोगे तो हाउ दे आर राइजिंग पॉलिकेशन साइन करेक्ट दैट इज ऑल यस मैम कैन वी गो फर्दर टू द फ्लावर हां मैम देन द फ्लावर flower is a modified condensed shoot of limited growth which bears floral leaves that carry on sexual reproduction and give rise to seeds and fruits pedicel is the stock of the flower in case of solitary flower its stock is known as, is termed as a peduncle correct the tip of the pedicel is called as a thalamus or torus or receptacle i already told you earlier thalamus is formed by the condensation of internodes of the floral axils actinomorphic flowers can be cut into two equal halves in any plane solanum that is zygomorphic flowers can be cut into two equal halves in only one plane example pisum apne last year fabaceae family kya tha na blue color ka flower you were able to divide in only one plane that is called as this uh, pisum sativum correct when you are able to divide the datura flower shoe flower into two equal halves number of planes mein you call it as actinomorphic Asymmetrical flowers cannot be divided or be cut into two equal parts in any plane. Example, canna. A flower possessing superior ovary is known as hypogynous flower, while the flower possessing inferior ovary is called as epigynous flower. A perigynous flower possesses sub-inferior ovary. In pentamerous flower, each floral, each whorl, especially calyx and carola, possesses five members. In the trimerous flower or in tetramerous flower. Each possesses three and four respectively members. यानी कि calyx चार रहेगा, या multipetal चार रहेगा, corolla चार रहेगा, या multipetal चार रहेगा. So we call it as tetramerous. Three रहेगा और multipetal three trimerous. Five और multipetal five we call it as pentamerous. Calyx is the outermost whorl composed of sepals. Flower can be polysepalous, that is sepals are free, or as amosepalous, sorry, gamosepalous. That is sepals are united. Yeah, it should be what gamosepalous. That is sepals are united. Corolla. It is second floral whorl consisting of petals. Flowers can be a petalous. That is petals are absent, or they could be polypetalous. That is petals are free or gamopetalous. That is sep uh, unite sepals are petals are united. The mode of arrangement of the petals and the sepals or the tepals. Tepals are nothing when you are not able to distinguish. Between calyx and corolla whorl, you call the whorl to be perianth whorl, and the members of the perianth whorl are called as tepals. Correct? When sepals, petals, or tepals are arranged in the how they are arranged in the floral bud, it is called as estivation. When these units are not overlapping, it is called as velvet estivation. Borders just touching, margins. It is called as velvet estivation. They are regularly overlapping each other. Either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Just see over here. In out, in out, in out. Regular overlapping is there. Then you call it as contorted or twisted estivation. Just see the next one. One is completely in. One is completely out. Remaining three are in out, in out, in out, in out. So it is imbricate. In this particular case, you will see two petals are completely out. This is completely out. This is completely out. Two petals are completely in, and one is in and out. Then I call this particular arrangement as quinquential. Whereas in this particular case, I have one petal completely larger one, that is the posterior most one, which is completely outside. Two lateral ones, half in and half out, and the two innermost ones slightly united. The outermost one, which is there, that is called as the standard. The two lateral ones are called as the wings. Right. Agreed. Now this estivation is velvet estivation. This is twisted or contorted estivation. This is imbricate estivation. This is quinquential and this is vexillary. Example for velvet is your calatropis. Example for twisted is your hibiscus. Imbricate is cisalpinia. Quinquential is lal chameli. Correct. Or quis palis, and vexillary is your p. Correct. The same thing is there. The mode of arrangement of the sepals of the petals of the tepals in a flower in bud condition is called as estivation. 
when these units are not overlapping it is velvet situation when the total number of units so one is completely out and one is completely in and the rest are in and out is called as imbricate situation in descending imbricate or axillary situation the standard petal is large and overlaps the two wing petals and which in turn overlaps the keel petal when the total of when of the total number of five uh, number of units two are completely out two are completely in and the rest in and out it is called as quintessential estivation in contorted or twisted estivation all the units are in and out correct that's what we said it next is androecium it is a third male floral whorl composed of stamens and microsporophylls each stamen consists of filament anther and the connector correct next when the stamens are partially or completely fused among themselves such a condition is known as edelphi when the stamens are partially or completely fused such a condition is not called as edelphi my dear it is called as cohesion if you can recollect i have done it in the class cohesion i had written here union of stamens then i did cohesion and addition maine class mein ye kiya tha cohesion means your own classroom either all the boys are united or all the girls are united or both boys and girls are united correct that is called as the same classroom ka cohesion how you all are united the same way anther or the stamen is having the anthers the filaments either all the filaments are fused or all the anthers are fused or both anthers and filaments are fused so that is called as cohesion i told you boys are united girls are united boys and girls are united so filaments are fused anthers are fused or both of them are fused next is addition yes so fusion in the same wall agreed addition it is added to it you have another batch with that you are communicating correct you have seniors you have juniors with that you are communicating correct so it is added to calyx it is added to petals it is added to gynecium so that is called as addition agreed so this you cannot call it the delphi delphi is fusion of the filaments then it may be one bundle monadelphus two bundles diadelphus more than two bundles polyadelphus aisa karke correct this known as delphi stamens may be monadelphus example hibiscus diadelphus example pisum polyadelphus example bombax Over here you change it. Over here you change it. Don't write it as telepathy. Write this as cohesion. Ye chart bana lo please. Please make this chart. Iske niche likhne ka hai. Aapko main side mein likh rahi hu. Mere paas jagah nahi hai. Iske liye main side mein likh rahi hu. Cohesion is of three types. One is telepathy. one is syngenesious one is synandrous either fifth anthers free syngenesious anthers fused anthers and filaments fused correct now edelphi ke niche pull a straight line you give one compartment over there monadelphus filaments fusing to form one bundle pull a straight line aisa jo hai na and make a compartment first one monadelphus uske niche likho filaments fusing to form one bundle agreed example it is cast that same line mein pull the second one Adelphi may die. Adelphi is. Niche likho filaments using to form two bundles. Example pisum. Pull that same line. Go downwards and write poly Adelphi. Filaments using to form more than two bundles. 
एग्जाम्पल बॉम्बैक्स ये हो गया अपना एडल्सी का कम टू सिंजिनेशियस सिंजिनेशियस में अपना क्या है रीजन एंथर्स ऑफ यूज फिलामेंट्स ऑफ फ्री तो उसमें खाली एक ही एग्जाम्पल लिखो सनफ्ला वॉन्ट टू बी मोर स्पेसिफिक यू राइट डिस्क फ्लोरेट ऑफ सनफ्ला जो सेंट्रल में है ना काले में सनफ्ला का डिस्क वे तो डिस्क फ्लोरेट ऑफ सनफ्ला सिनेड्री एंथर्स एज वेल एज फिलामेंट्स ऑफ यूज एग्जाम्पल इज कोक्सिनिया आप टिंडली खाते हो ना टिंडली वेजिटेबल है ओवल शेप का ग्रीन कलर का छोटा छोटा आता है मैक्सिमम यू कैन से थ्री इंचेस का करेक्ट या टू इंचेस का भी आता है मीन जैसा टोंडली जो खाते हो ना ककड़ी के जैसा दिखता है लेकिन छोटा वाला है परवल नहीं परवल मोटा मोटा रहता है ये एकदम पतला पतला छोटा वाला रहता है कोक्सिनिया दैट इज योर दिस अपना टोंडली दैट इज स्विंग सिनेड्रस एग्रेड Go to the next one, addition. Addition. इसके नीचे आप चार बनाओ फुल ऐसा चार बनाने का है फर्स्ट वन यू राइट एपीसेपैलेस फुल एन एरो इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट एंड राइट स्टेमेंट्स अब द सेपल्स स्टेमेंट्स अब द सेपल्स और अटैच टू सेपल्स विच एवर वे यू फील लाइक एग्जाम्पल क्विज पैलेस लाल चमेली एग्जाम्पल क्विज पैलेस लाल चमेली टेक द सेकेंड वन एपी पेटालस फुल स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड राइट एपी पेटालस स्टेमेंट अब द पेटल्स और अटैच टू पेटल्स एग्जाम्पल जतूरा लास्ट ईयर देखा था सोलानी सी फैमिली में epiphyllus next is epiphyllus here the word epitepalus nahi hai epiphyllus hai stamens above the tepals tepals is nothing in bracket if you want you can write perian example tuberose rajnigandha rajnigandha pan masala nahi hai ye rajnigandha wo flower ka naam hai of white color flowers you get and the last one is gynandrus gynandrus stamens plus gynaecium isme do example likho one is orchid and one is calotropis kyunki either it may be a partial union or a complete union so accordingly the names are there gynostegium or gynostemium लेट एस सी नाउ अभी मैंने आपको सही वाला दे दिया इधर गड़बड़ घुटाला है तो छोड़ दो करेक्ट वेन स्टेमेंडीशन इज नोन एज एपी सेपेलस एग्जाम्पल क्विस पैलेस एंड एपी पेटेलस एग्जाम्पल सोलैनम रिस्पेक्टिवली स्टेमेंस एडियर टू गाइनेशियम द कंडीशन इज नोन एज गाइनेडरी मैं गाइनेशियम इज इन मोस्ट वर्ल्ड ऑफ द फ्लॉर मेड अप ऑफ कापल्स इट इज कंपोज ऑफ थ्री पार्ट दैट इज ओवर ही स्टाइल एंड सिग्मा After fertilization, ovary develops into fruit and ovules into seeds. Ovary can be described as cohesion of carpel, number of carpels and number of locules. Correct compartments. कितने हैं? आपने बिंडी देखा होगा? उसमें पांच compartment है. Correct और ये बिंडी का section ऐसा रहता है. पांच compartment. So there are number of locules. इतने carpels हैं, लेकिन compartment एक ही है. So unilocular. Agreed? That इसमें भी एक ही है तो वन कापल ओनली एंड इट इज हैविंग ओनली वन कंपार्टमेंट तो यूनिलोकुलर ऐसा करके आएगा नो सी एपोकापस एंड सिंकार्पस व्हेन द कापल्स आर फ्री फ्रॉम ईच अदर यू कॉल इट एज एपोकापस एंड व्हेन द कापल्स आर यूनाइटेड यू कॉल इट एज सिंकार्पस इफ इट इज एपोकापस इट इज मोनोकार्पिले आप अकेले एक स्टूडेंट है तो आप बेटर या फ्री ऑफ यूज कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता लेकिन दो जन है तो आप दोनों का ओपिनियन एक है अब दोनों का राय एक ही है वो ध्यान में रखना पड़ता है यू आर फ्यूज टुगेदर और ऑलवेज टुगेदर और एक दिन एब्सेंट रहेगा दूसरा दिन आएगा दूसरा दिन वो वाला आएगा तो पहला वाला एब्सेंट रहेगा लाइक 
you know united correct if there are two but if you all along that question does not arise the same way monocarpillary mein question hi nahi aata because all the carpels will be three correct but in syncarpus means they are fused when the ovary is polycarpillary in polycarpillary it could be bicarpillary two carpels tricarpillary three carpels tetracarpillary four carpels pentacarpillary five carpels so on and so forth अभी अगर जो मोनोकार्पेरी है तो उसमें कंपार्टमेंट भी एक ही है तो यूनिलॉक्यूलर दो कापल है तो उसमें कंपार्टमेंट या तो दो हो सकता है या तो एक हो सकता है तो इट भी आइर बायोक्यूलर और यूनिलॉक्यूलर ट्राई कार्पिलरी है अगेन कंपार्टमेंट को भी वन और मोर देन वन इट वेर इज करेक्ट इफ इट इज मोर देन वन सी नाउ इट विल बी मल्टीलॉक्यूलर इट इज मोर देन वन इट विल बी मल्टीलॉक्यूलर इसका ओवरी का सेक्शन नहीं दिया पी प्लांट के ओवरी का सेक्शन नहीं दिया यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू गेट इट ठीक है नो प्रॉब्लम आई शो इट यूर लेटर आई फॉरवर्ड योर दैट पिक्चर डोंट वरी देन टेट्रा लॉक्यूलर पेंटा लॉक्यूलर आई टोल्ड योर भिंडी पेंटालॉक्यूलर का हम लोग मल्टीलॉक्यूलर भी बोल सकते हैं ओवरी कुड बी हाफ सुपीरियर हाफ इंफीरियर इंफीरियर और इट कुड बी एंटायरली सुपीरियर ओवरी तो द फ्लावर इज सेट टू बी हाइपोगाइनस एपीगाइनस पेरीगाइनस बट वी नेवर मेंशन इट हाफ सुपीरियर वी मेंशन इट सुपीरियर ओनियर डोंट वरी द सोलन बेस ऑफ दी वेर दूस आर अटैच इज कॉल्ड एज प्लेसेंटा अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द प्लेसेंटा इन एन ओवियर इज कॉल्ड एज प्लेसेंटेशन One is marginal placentation. Button, you have seen that all margin is there, so that is marginal placentation. When the ovule is attached to the base of the ovary, it is called as basal placentation. Correct. When it is attached to the margin, uh, the uh, periphery, it is called as parietal placentation. Sakadi. Correct. When it is attached to the central axis, axial placentation. It is neither attached to the periphery nor it is attached to the central. Correct. It is hanging in between, then free central. accordingly the names are there marginal placenta placenta on the in on in ventral suture monocarpillary ovary example p basal single placenta on the floor of the monolocular ovary example ranunculus next is axial placenta along the axis that is radial septa present example hibiscus free central that is placenta along the axis no radial septa are present example dianthes parietal placenta on the inner wall of the ovary is called as the parietal placentation example is your brassica parietal placentation aapne papaya bhi dekha hoga periphery ki taraf attached hai sare seeds then coming to the fruit true fruit develop from the ovary and other floral parts do not take part in its development fruits developing from other parts are called as false fruits that is parthenocarpic fruits fruits or seedless fruits are fruits which are formed without the fertilization example banana next mature wall of the ovary after ripening is called as pericarp which can be further divided in three parts epicarp mesocarp and endocarp if not then it is pericarp only it consists of epicarp mesocarp and endocarp classification of fruits is summarized in a tabular form over here fruits there are three types of fruits simple fruits aggregate fruits and compound fruits simple one flower one fruit aggregate one flower many fruits and compound many flowers one fruits i told you simple fruits are again of two different types either they are dry fruits or fleshy fruits dry fruits are of two types basically dehiscent and indehiscent dehiscent yani khul jata hai they are dispersing the seeds aapka vatana hai bindi hai gawar hai ye sab seeds you know, the fruits are opening to disperse the seeds these are called as dehiscent one in dehiscent is your this apna bajra so fruit and seed is one only for the dehiscent hota hi nahi hai usme akin hai usme then you have your sunflower seeds all these are said to be the in dehiscent type then you have fleshy fruits in that the fleshy fruits is nothing but your drupe drupe mein the endocarp is hard and woody in nature either it could be fibrous drupe or it could be fleshy drupe fibrous drupe hai to coconut fleshy drupe hai to mango then you have berry you have tomato 
ब्रिंजॉल कैप्सिकम एक्सेट्रा इसमें एपिकाप मिसोकाप एंडोकाप सीड सब कुछ खा जाते हो निकालते नहीं हो कुछ भी करेक्ट देन यू पिप्पो दैट इज नथिंग बट कुकर बिच दैट इज अ टाइप ऑफ फ्रूट यू हैव पोमो दैट इज नथिंग बट एप्पल बेसिकली एप्पल इज सेट टू बी ऑन फ्रूट ऑल्सो पेर इट इज सलाम विच इज फॉर्मिंग द फ्रूट रिसेप्टेकल विच इज फॉर्मिंग द फ्रूट करेक्टरिडियम दैट इज लेमन आपने देखा नहीं है तो फगेट अबाउट दैट पार्ट नेक्स्ट इज फ्रूट आर ग्रुप टूगेदर बिकॉज ओवर इज एपो कापस ओवर तो इंडिविजुअल कापल इज फॉर्मिंग इंडिविजुअल फ्रूट एग्जाम्पल इज दे If it is forming a berry, then it are your berries. Forming a drupe, it are your drupes. Forming a follicle, it are your follicles. ऐसा करके. So it are your akins, clematis. It are your follicles, mycelia. That is the sun safa. आपने वो star anise देखा है ना? मम्मी गरम मसाले में use करती है. वो वाला है ये. Then it are your drupes, raspberry. It are your berries, custard apple. It are your samaras, elianthus. ऐसा. Then you have composite fruits. Composite fruit is nothing but your jackfruit, pineapples. Your fig, cyconus, etc. Sorosis, that is pineapple or jackfruit, entire elongated inflorescence. Condensed inflorescence, so it is cyconus. Example, fig. Correct. Anjir, eat it, na? Oh, example, yeah, fig. Aye, sir. Next is with the help of the stalk called a funicle. A seed is attached. So, seed, I have got one. Seed. Morphologically, the seed is ripened ovule. It is integumented, mature megasporangium, which is developed. From the fertilized ovule and contains an embryo, future plant enclosed by the seed coat in the bi-technic ovules with two distinct layers. Outer thick, hard, leathery seed coat is called as a testa, and the inner thin, papery layer is called as a tegmen. With the help of the stalk called funicle, a seed is attached to the fruit called pericarp, and the point of attachment is called as hilum raphe. Is the part of the funicle that is fused with the seed wall. Chalaza is that region where from which the seed coats originate. Micropyle is a small opening or the pore present adjacent to the hilum. That is kernel is obtained by removing the seed coat and it is mainly consists of the embryo. The embryo consists of an axis or tiglium to which are attached on in one in monocotyledonous seed and two in dicotyledonous seed. Seed leaves or cotyledons in most monocots the and some dicots the fruit preserve. Reserve remains in the endosperm. They are called as endospermic or albuminous seeds. Example: cereal, castor, bean, coconut, rubber, etc. In eggs, albuminous or non-endospermic seeds like gram, pea, mustard, etc. Endosperm is fully consumed by the embryo. There is no. There is one seed cotyledon in monocots and two seed cotyledons in dicots. In some seeds, called as perispermic seeds, below the seed coat, a thin, a very thin papery membrane is. Formed or is formed, called as uh, found over the kernel, called as perisperm. This is nothing but the permanent or persistent mucellus, remnants of the mucellus. You can say in monocots, the outer covering of the endosperm separates the embryo by a protein layer called as a an aluron layer. In monocotyledonous seed, embryo is shielded shape, is shield shape that is cutellum. Two to four protective layers are found. Over the plumule, which are called as polyptile, and two to four protective layers are found on the radical, which are called as polyorhiza. Now here, confirm is is the gadbad hone ka chance hai. So be careful. Polyorhiza are and radical going hand in hand. Polyptile and plumule P going hand in hand, so that you will not make a mistake. Some technical description of the flowering plant. To describe the flowering plant, its habit and other features, like stem, leaf. Fruits, inflorescence, etc., are described. Flower is a distinct identifying feature of a plant. So to describe the characteristics of a flower, in brief, floral formula, floral symbols as follows: Br for bract, Ebr, E bracteate, a circle with a plus sign, actinomorphic or regular flower, a percentage sign, zygomorphic or irregular flower. 
bisexual circle with an arrow and a plus sign below bisexual circle with a plus sign below female flower circle with an arrow above male flower k for calyx correct c for corolla p for perianth a for androecium g for gynaecium a line below g is superior ovary a line above g inferior ovary 1 2 3 infinite is the number of units individually if you are putting the brackets then it is indicating fused if they are kept just the bracket is kept the number is kept individually when they are free correct if you are uniting or if the stamens are placed above the corolla then we call it as epipetalous correct if i am writing k with an arrow, upper arrow and a beech mein c aayega aisa main karu k c a or either you write karunge so it is epipetalous i am showing with the help of g then it is gynandrous aisa karke family solanaceae now this is actinomorphic bisexual calyx composed of five sepals fused together corolla composed of five sepals fused together that is gamosepalous gamopetalous androecium five free from each other but it is present on the petals epipetalous gynaecium bicarpellary syncarpous superior ovary got it tabaceae family zygomorphic bisexual calyx five fused that is gamosepalous corolla one large petal plus two small inner ones and two slightly united ones towards the inner side androecium diadelphous that is 9 plus 1 nine fusing to form one bundle and one separately gynaecium single it is not indicating any arrows or that is brackets so if it is single the confusion is not the mono uh, syncarpous or apocarpous plus here the line will come below g huh? line should come below g make it it is superior ovary family liliaceae correct family liliaceae regular bisexual actinomorphic bisexual perianth in two walls 3 plus 3 androecium in two walls 3 plus 3 but it is epiphyllous gynaecium tricarpellary syncarpous ovary superior graminee or your this uh, jawar bajra etc ka family bract bracteoles irregular flower bisexual correct zygomorphic bisexual perianth 2 androecium 3 or 3 plus 3 gynaecium monocarpellary that is single carpel with superior ovary just put that line below g you know superior ovary anatomy of flowering plants you all know that should we go ahead or it is too much for you all know na it's just one and a half page now should i continue and then go for the mcqs please let me know my dear friends excuse me okay. should i continue with the synopsis or the finish of this epi as tissues also and then go for the mcqs excuse me continue na okay too fast in answering my dear anatomy of flowering plants correct each flowering plant is having basically two different types of tissue one is meristematic tissue and one is permanent tissue meristematic tissue how will you say the cells are dividing and redividing permanent tissue the cells are not dividing and redividing meristematic thin wall permanent maybe thin or thick wall meristematic intercellular space is absent permanent intercellular space is maybe present or absent meristematic tissue is always living whereas permanent tissue may be living or dead correct next a meristem or the meristematic tissue is a simple tissue composed of a group of similar and immature cells composed of a group of similar and immature cells they can be classified as follows on the basis of the origin you have two different types of tissue meristematic tissue primary meristems and secondary meristems those that originate from the embryonic meristems or pro meristems they retain the meristematic nature throughout the life of plant life is called as primary meristems secondary meristems these originated later on or as new meristems formed from the permanent tissue which may already undergone differentiation they do not have their own pro meristem on the basis of the position you have three different types apical meristem intertelial meristem and lateral meristem apical meristem is generally present at the tip of the stem or the root it produces or grows growth in the length intercalary meristems are derived from the primary meristem from the apical meristem 
they help in elongation of the organ these are commonly found at the base of the leaves internodal regions etc therefore the name is intercalary meristem lateral meristem occurs at the sides or the lateral uh, ends of the stem or the roots they are helpful for increasing the girth of the diameter of the plant body they are cylindrical meristems and give rise to secondary tissues constitute the secondary growth the common examples are fascicular or vascular cambium next is primary meristems interfascicular cambium or cock cambium that is in between the two vascular bundles ye hai aisa apna dicot stem ye vascular bundle hai yahan pe cambium hai that is called as fascicular or intrafascicular cambium in dono ke beech mein hai do vascular bundles ke beech mein kya cambium hai so this is called as intrafascicular cambium and cock cambium pelogen both are secondary meristems permanent tissue the tissues have lost the power to divide and redivide means they have attained the permanent shape size and the function they can be of following type simple permanent tissue simple is made up of only one type of cells that is they are homogeneous correct a simple permanent tissue is a phylogenetic is made up of similar permanent cells that carry out the same function similar set of functions simple permanent tissue can be of three different types parenchyma polenchyma and sclerenchyma parenchyma is phylogenetically and, and ontogenetically the primitive tissue the tissue mainly consists of thin walled living cells which are intercellular which have intercellular spaces between them and their cell wall is made up of cellulose each cell possesses a prominent nucleus and a vacuolated cytoplasm means vacuoles are present parenchyma serves the function of storage of food may be food storage absorption lateral conduction photosynthesis providing buoyancy etc providing buoyancy kon dega parenchyma a type of parenchyma only who is doing the process of food conduction or preparation or photosynthesis that is nothing but chlorenchyma chlorenchyma a parenchyma bearing the chlorophyll pigment polenchyma consists of refractory non lignified living cells uh, cells which possess pectocellulose taking in the specific area of the walls Inter internally cell possesses a large central vacuole and the peripheral cytoplasm chloroplasts are often present polenchyma provides mechanical strength to the young dicot stems petioles and the leaves provides flexibility to the organs and allows their bending example cucurbita stem it often consists or contains of chloroplast for the photosynthesis now if you try to see aapka wall hota na eet ka deewal construction site pe aapne dekha hoga do eet ke beech mein wo log concrete cement concrete dalte hain correct so the same way in the case of pollen came also the deposition is there of pectic compounds at the corners because the deposition is there at the corners what is happening the cells appear to be compactly arranged ko aisa rehta hai ये इंटरसेलुलर स्पेसिस है इधर आपका सीमेंट कॉन्ट्रेट डाल देते हैं हम लोग ईट का दीवार भी ऐसे ही रहता है ना शेप वो खाली रेक्टेंगुलर रहता है करेक्ट ऑन द सेम वे वो द सेम थिंग इज वो पोलेंटाइन स्क्रेन कैमो कंसिस्ट ऑफ दैट सेल्स विच हार्ड एंड एक्सट्रीमली थिक सेकेंडरी वॉल्स ड्यू टू यूनिफॉर्म डिपोजिशन ऑफ लिगनिंग स्क्रेन कैमा इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स दैट इज स्क्रेन कैमा फाइबर्स एंड स्क्रेराइट्स Sclerin chyma fibers are highly elongated, narrow, and spindle-shaped, thick wall cells which point pointed or oblique end walls. The fibers occur in all the parts where mechanical strength is required. आपने जिंजर वगैरह देखा है ना अदरक? मम्मी कब्जू कस करती है उधर बाल-बाल जैसे दिखते हैं. That is sclerin chyma fibers. Correct. Namely, uh, strength is required. Namely, leaves, petioles, cortex, and around the vascular bundles. Sclerids are thick, are highly thickened dead sclerin chyma cells. with very narrow cavities sclerites provide mechanical strength they are specialized to tolerate stress for bending shearing compression and pull they prevent collapsing of soft part plant organs under conditions of temporary wilting complex permanent tissues of two types one is xylem and one is phloem correct permanent tissue with more than one type of cells or heterogeneous cells 
is called as complex tissue. Names are xylem and phloem. Phloem transports the organic food inside the body of the plant. Phloem is also called as bast and consists of four types of cells. Sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma, and fibers that is phloem parenchyma. Abel Leyden in 1914 used the term leptome. Phloem ka dusra naam tha leptome for the conducting part of the phloem. The first uh, formed primary phloem consists of the narrow sieve tubes and formed by the and referred to as protofloem. And the later formed of phloem has higher sieve tubes and is known as metafloem. Right? Just a metaxylem, protoxylem. Just a metafloem and protofloem. Sieve tubes. Elongated tubular structures conducting channels formed of single enucleated cells. They are called as sieve tubes. Members of the sieve tube cells. Sieve tube members are placed end to end and have many small pores or the sieve pits lined by the layer of callus. Due to the presence of the sieve pits, the end walls are commonly called as sieve plates. Correct? If you were porous and a channi ke jesa hai, iske liye sieve plate bol diya. Companion cells, narrow, elongated, and thin, called as living cells. Thin walled uh, living cells on the sides of the sieve tubes and are closely associated with them through compound plasmodesmata. The sieve tubes are companion cells, are absent in pteridophytes and gymnosperms. Phloem parenchyma consists of ordinary living elongated parenchyma cells that store the food, resins, lactase, mucilage, etc. They help in slow conduction of food, especially to the sides. Phloem fibers have both cellulose and lignified thickenings. Xylem performs the function of transport of water and minerals from the root to the leaves or sap inside the plant and also provides mechanical strength. Why? Because it is a dead tissue. The term xylem, that is Greek xylos is wood, was introduced by Nagale in 1858. Xylem is also known as wood. It consists of tracheids, xylem vessels, that is wood parenchyma, and xylem parenchyma, and xylem uh, sclerenchyma, or fibers. Conduction of sap is carried out by tracheids. The conducting elements of the xylem have, have been called as hadrome. Uska naam ta leptom, to iska naam aya hadrome. The word hadrome was laid down by Haber Leden in 1914 or leptome in 1914, same time. Tracheids are dead, lignified, are elongated cells with tapering ends. Tracheids are commonly found in pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and dicotyledons. Vessels are absent in pteridophytes and gymnosperms. Vessels help in conduction of water and dissolved salts from the roots to the different parts of the shoot and provides mechanical support. Xylem fibers associated with xylem add to mechanical strength of the plant body. First formed, Xylem is protoxylem and later form is called as metaxylem. The same way over there, it was metaxylem and proto, sorry, metafloem and protofloem. Same way over here. Depending upon the position of the protoxylem in relation to metaxylem, xylem can be exarch, that is protoxylem to lies towards the outside of the metaxylem. Endarch, protoxylem lies towards the inner side of the metaxylem. Mesarch, protoxylem is between the metaxylem. Centrage, protoxylem in the center of the metaxylem. Accordingly, the conditions are there. Tissue systems followed by classified by shares. Epidermal tissue system. Epidermal tissue system consists of epidermis and epidermal appendages. Epidermal appendages may be trichomes, that is hair. Correct? Epidermis is the superficial layer covering the entire surface of the plant, primary plant body. All the epidermal cells are living, that is parenchymatous. The specialized vein epidermal cells present around the stomata are called as guard cells. Guard cells in the uh, in dicots are kidney or bean shaped, whereas in monocots are dumbbell shaped. The guard cells in some plants are surrounded by two or more epidermal cells called as subsidiary cells. When subsidiary cells lie below the guard cells, the stomata are called as sunken stomata. Stomatal aperture, that is the guard cell, and the subsidiary cells together constitute the complex structure called as stomatal apparatus. Epidermal appendages are of two kinds, that is trichomes and emergences. Ground tissue, it is also known as fundamental tissue, contains of various types of tissues excluding epidermis and vascular tissue. It is derived partly from the peribellum and partly from the pleuro. It is of two types, namely extrastellar 
that is cortex and intrastellar, that is including pericycle pith and medullary lobes. Vascular tissue system. Vascular tissues include steely, that is central column of the plant body, that consists of vascular bundles and the pith if present. Each vascular bundle comprises of xylem and phloem and the cambium if present. So arrangement of the vascular tissues is called a vascular bundle. Arrangement of the vascular bundle is called as a steely, I said. I just see over here, vascular bundles are basically two types, radial vascular bundle and conjoint vascular bundle. Radial xylem and phloem on different here. Then this conjoint is further classified into three categories. Either it could be collateral, it could be back collateral, or it could be concentric. Concentric means one vascular tissue surrounded by the other. Again, there are two different things over here. Xylem in the center, hydrocentric. Phloem in the center, leptocentric. It can also be called as amphicribral. It can be also called as endoxylic. Correct? आपकी वॉइस ब्रेक हो रही है तो मैं क्या करूं अभी उसके लिए बताइए मुझे एवरीवन इज नहीं आपके इसमें प्रॉब्लम होगा यानी कि आगे बढ़ू ओके ओके इसके लिए तीन नाम है सॉरी चार नाम है एम्फ्रिक्रिब्रिल हाइड्रोसेंट्रिक जाइलम इन द सेंटर करेक्ट यू कैन आल्सो कॉल इट एज एक्टोफ्लोइक फ्लोइंग बाहर की तरफ है एंडोजाइलिक इफ यू वांट यू कैन राइट इट डाउन इट इज एम्फ्रिक्रिब्रिल एक्टोफ्लोइक एंडोजाइलिक और हाइड्रोसेंट्रिक दूसरा वाला है एम्पी वेसल सराउंडेड बाय वेसल लेप्टोसेंट्रिक लेप्टोम इन द सेंटर फ्लोइम इन द सेंटर तो एंडोफ्लोइक जाइलम आउटसाइड एक्टोजाइलिक करेक्ट ये हो गया अपना कॉन्सेंट्रिक नेक्स्ट है अपना ये वाला कोलैटरल एंड बाय कोलैटरल कोलैटरल वेस्कुलर बंडल मीन जाइलम एंड फ्लोएम अरेंज ऑन द सेम रेडिया एंड फ्लोएम इज टूवर्ड्स द आउटर साइड वन पैच इट इज कोलैटरल जाइलम एंड फ्लोएम अरेंज ऑन द सेम रेडिया बट देयर आर टू पैचेस ऑफ फ्लोएम आउटर फ्लोएम एंड इनर फ्लोएम करेक्ट सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज बाय कोलैटरल बाय कोलैटरल इज ऑब्जर्वड इन द केस ऑफ योर कुकर बीटा नाउ कमिंग टू कोलैटरल इन बिटवीन जाइलम एंड फ्लोएम देयर मे बी कैम्बियल स्ट्रिप दैट टाइम यू कॉल इट एज ओपन If the cambium strip is absent, we call it as closed. यानी कि ये open and closed इधर आना चाहिए। ऐसा आएगा। Phloem, xylem, cambium strip, so it is open. Phloem, xylem, no cambium strip, so it is closed. By collateral में it is phloem, cambium, xylem, cambium, phloem. Concentric one vascular tissue surrounded by the other. So either it could be xylem with a phloem or it could be phloem with xylem. Agreed? May I say yes? Then anatomy of root and stem. I think this is you can read it. It is conjoined collateral. This part you can read it. इसमें इतना नहीं. हाँ, एक part आपको ध्यान में रखने का है. हाँ, leaves are of two different types: dorsoventral or isobilateral. Dorsoventral means on the upper surface you have palisade parenchyma. Lower surface you have Spongy parenchyma. Isobilateral में both the surfaces have similar type of mesophyll cells. Correct. Next, if the stomata are there only on the upper surface, we call it as epistomatic. On the lower surface, we call it as hypostomatic. And on both the surfaces, we call it as amphistomatic. Stomata present. Presence of stomata. On upper surface, we call it as epistomatic. On lower surface, we call it as hypostomatic. On both the surfaces, we call it as amphistomatic. Correct. Now this is self-explanatory. I don't need. You need any explanation over here. 
Agreed? You can start with the MCQs. Perisperm is found in. Perisperm is found in. Black pepper, maize, wheat, groundnut. Bolo. Where do you come across perisperm? Anybody can answer? Groundnut. No. Groundnut me apko kaha hai? That transparent covering. आपने खजूर देखा ना डेट डेट यस मैम उसके बाहर के कैसा रहता है आपको ट्रांसपेरेंट कवरिंग दिखता है ना वैसे उसको हम लोग पेरिस पम बोलते हैं तो वो अंदर की तरफ रहता है किसी का हार्ड कवरिंग के अंदर की तरफ रहता है तो वो रहता है आपका इसमें पेपर में काली मिर्ची रहती है ना ब्लैक पेपर उसमें रहता है पेरिस पम इज नथिंग बट रेमिनेंट ऑफ द न्यू बताइए terminates in a flower correct terminates in a flower perfect nobody else is answering why all are sleeping or what sanket sir please unmute everyone or let them put the messages or unmute them thank you sir perfect perfect go on writing this way the spines in a cacti that is opuntia are the modified forms of bud stipule stem leaf leaf very good next the gynaecium in muci is muci is nothing but your this banana family epigynous it is epigynous what do i mean by the term epigynous epi is about gynaecium is gynaecium what is about gynaecium all the words together with gynaecium डैश Cotyledon, endosperm, testa, tegmen. ये था ना maize green ऐसा. ऐसा था scrotulum. इसका दूसरा नाम भी था. Perfect, perfect. Sena, perfect. Devi का perfect. Cotyledon. Correct. It is cotyledon. Perfect. Banana is a dash. Cremo cap, Parthenio carpic berry, drupe capsule. बोलो. What is banana? parthenocarpic berry correct it is parthenocarpic fruit because fertilization does not take place usme seeds bhi nahi hai wo kala kala dikhta hai wo seeds hai lekin wo seeds se apna plant nahi banta hai correct next stilt roots are found in stilt roots be careful from the lower nodal regions you get some roots which are entering vertically or obliquely in the soil so these stilt roots are found in banyan tree orchids jessica sugarcane ऐसा था कुछ ध्यान में आएगा तो खुशी या रॉन्ग स्नेहा या शुगर ऐसा वाला रूट था ना याद आ रहा है हम लोग ने डायग्राम शुगर केन परफेक्ट मोनोकॉट टेट्रा डायनामिक कंडीशन अकर्स इन सी और डी नहीं है प्राची इट इज ओनली डी टेट्रा डायनामिक कंडीशन अकर इन टेट्रा मीन्स फोर Condition occurs in. You have to let me know. Cruciferi, Malvaceae, Solanaceae, Liliaceae. Liliaceae, so monocot is so three. Malvaceae, so five. Solanaceae, maybe five. So, your child. So, who is it? Cruciferi. Cross, like its corolla, corolla's petals. Correct. Next, 
That's why the name Cruciferi. Correct. So it is. The answer is A. Cruciferi. New banana plants develop from. Because she said the government is doing. So where is the new banana plant? The zone. The zone of sort, offset, stolon, or seed. Seed to out of question. So in the option, I have to find the answer. The zone. The zone. राइजोम राइजोम करेक्ट 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 नहीं है करेक्ट करेक्ट खुशी ऑल्सो करेक्ट द लार्जेस्ट लीव्स आर फाउंड इन न्यूसा पेरिडाइसिका विक्टोरिया रीजिया लिलोम्बियो लूसीफेरा एमोफोफ्लस बोलो द लार्जेस्ट लीव्स आर फाउंड इन विच वन माय डियर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लांट्स यू हैव नेवर सीन इट ओनली हैव टू जस्ट डू रटा मारी न्यूसा पेरिडाइसिका इज योर बनाना Amophorus is your surin ka plant. Nilumbu nucifera is your this, apna uh, lotus. There is Victoria regia. Uska common name apko samaj mein nahi aayega. Actually, it is that answer is that only. Apne wo dekha hai na apna ye jo apun puja wager mein wo thali use karte na patte ka thali. Puja mein use karte na apun. Hmm. Abhi to usko patal bolte hain. Nowadays, so y'all are using for that party that is thermocol sheets or paper plates, correct? But puja, we are not using patte ka thali. We use patte ka thali. Shraddh and other things, we use patte ka thali. We use that discard. In that, the patta is used, it is a big, big patta. It is that. Victoria regia, correct? Then lotus. Lotus ka chota hai. Option C. वो छोटा है. और वो aquatic plant है. उसके पत्ता हम लोग use नहीं कर सकते हैं इसमें. करेक्ट हाँ ये जो अपन है बनाना का प्लांट यूज करते हैं वो पूजा वगैरह में यूज करते हैं बनाना का प्लांट का पत्ता हम लोग ने देखो श्राद्ध वगैरह में नहीं यूज किया है बनाना का पत्ता प्रसाद में यूज कर सकते हो श्राद्ध के टाइम पे नहीं यूज करते हैं करेक्ट हो ना ऐसे वो श्राद्ध के टाइम पे यूज होता है इन द मेम्बर्स ऑफ फैमिली मालवेसी एंथर्स आर डिस्क्राइब एस Diadelphesin diathecus, diadelphesin monothecus, monodelphesin diathecus, monodelphesin monothecus. Bolo. Malvesi yane ki ya hibiscus, huh? Please be careful about that. Because you're not doing this family, so you may not be aware. So Malvesi is nothing but your hibiscus. Chukla. Abhi basa. आपको अगर जो ध्यान में रहेगा देवी का या करेक्ट खुशी या करेक्ट यूर कैन सी दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग आपने प्रैक्टिकल में आपका ऑनलाइन प्रैक्टिकल हुआ था यहाँ तो कॉलेज में गए होंगे प्रैक्टिकल करने के लिए डिसेक्शन ऑफ द फ्लॉर दैट इज एबिस्कस तो आपने ये वाला देखा होगा दैट इज मोनोडेल्फस कंडीशन ऑफ द स्टेमेंट्स वो सही है बिकॉज फिलामेंट्स आर फ्यूज एंड एंथर्स आर फ्री वो एक एंथर को आपने देखा होगा तो इट इज फॉर्मिंग अ रेनीफॉर्म स्ट्रक्चर किडनी शेप स्ट्रक्चर इट इज हैविंग ओनली वन एंथर लोब नॉर्मली द एंथर्स आर सपोज टू हैव टू एंथर लोब्स इफ दर टू एंथर लोब्स कॉल इट इज डाइथिकस बट इफ दर इज ओनली वन एंथर लोब कॉल इट इज मोनोथिकस तो इसमें इन द केस ऑफ यबिस्कस मालवेसी फैमिली में यू हैव मोनोडेल्फस एंड मोनोथिकस कंडीशन दैट इज डी Which of the following is an epidermal cell containing chloroplast? Epidermal cell containing chloroplast. Either thought, stomata, guard cell, none of these. Bolo, which is the right answer? Perfect, Kushi. Guard cell. Neha, perfect, perfect, perfect. Anybody else wants to answer? Guard cells. Guard cells is perfect, correct? Wound healing is due to perfect Vedika. Wound healing is due to primary meristem, secondary meristem, ventral meristem, all of these. Ventral meristem koi nahi hai saath chiz. So that is out of question. Secondary meristem. Correct, it is secondary meristem. 
We meet with an accident. My child will get recover faster. It will take some time for me. My mama ko it will take more time because she is elder than me. The tissues have lost the power to divide and re-divide, but they are triggered to divide and re-divide to heal the wound. Correct. So it is secondary meristem. Later on, they are regaining the power to divide and re-divide. Stomata in grass leaf R. Stomata in Dumbbell grass shape. leaf R. Heart shape, kidney shape, oval shape, double Dumbbell shape. shape. Correct. It was monocot. So it is perfect. Perfect. Sneha. Perfect. Kushi. Cambium is the example of which type of meristem? Intercalary meristem, lateral meristem, fascicular meristem, or primary meristem? Lateral. It's an example of lateral meristem. Anyone else? I'm not sure huh, about this. Devi, are correct. Anybody else? All are sleeping. I should tell sir not to keep the class at eleven to one. Keep the class morning four o'clock. Vedika perfect. Sakshi perfect. Very good. Sanya perfect. Sneha perfect. Anybody else? It is a type of lateral meristem. Kali. Cock cambium and vascular cambium are. Kushi, you are perfect. Cock cambium and vascular cambium are. Parts of secondary xylem and phloem. Parts of. Answer bolo. Abhi, dhyan me do idhar. Cock cambium either se hoega. Vascular cambium yaa se hai. Perfect. Abhi aap bata ye kya hai wo. Cock cambium and vascular cambium are. Parts of secondary xylem and phloem. Parts of pericycle. Lateral meristem. Apical meristem. Bolo. What are they? Lateral meristem. Perfect. It is lateral meristem. Perfect. Perfect. Sieve tube cell is sieve tube cell is enucleated. That is without the nuclei. Dead cell, multinucleated, nucleated. Perfect, Kushi. Enucleated. Perfect. Next, Casparian strips are the characteristics of Casparian strips are the characteristics of cortex, endodermis, pericycle, pith. Pericycle. No. It is endodermis. If you try to recollect, endodermis is having the outer walls which are thin. Inner and radial walls are thick. That is nothing but Casparian strips over there. Cell theory was proposed by Abhi ye actually next chapter hai apka. Lekin isme gusar diya hai. I can't help it. Cell theory was proposed by Virchu, Sheldon and Swan, Robert Hooke, M.C. Clinton. Perfect Sakshi. B. Perfect Prachi. B. Perfect Devika. Perfect Sneha. Very good. Sheldon and Swan. Correct. Huh? Yeah, it is Sheldon and Swan. Correct. Correct. Are you seeing the answers from behind and letting me know? No, ma'am. No, no, good. That is a good point. See, even if you see behind, it's of no use because you have to score there, not over here. Correct, na? Ginger is an underground stem. It is distinguished from root because, bolo, abhi kya hai? It lacks chlorophyll. It stores food. It has nodes and internodes. It has xylem vessels. Abhi answer kya hai? Mirko malum hai. It has nodes and internodes. Perfect. It has nodes and internodes. Perfect, Devika. Perfect. From which part of the coconut coil is obtained? From which part of the coconut coil is obtained? Aapne green coconut dekha hai na? That green color is what? Epica. Epica. Jo aapka mango mein bhi epica pe. Jo chilka. 
उसके बाद में जो आप खाते हो पल्पी मीशो का पे फिर गोटली ये कड़क वाला वो एंडो का पे करेक्ट जो कोकोनट का तोड़ते हो श्रीफल का वो एंडो का पे उसके अंदर है एंडोस्पम एंडोस्पमिक फ्लूड तो वो कहा क्या है फाइबर्स तो बाहर की तरफ है ना सो फ्रॉम विच पार्ट ऑफ द कोकोनट ऑयल इज ऑप्टेन एपी काप पेरिकाप मीसो काप एंडो काप बोलो मैम आई एम कंफ्यूज बिटवीन एपी काप एंड मीसो काप ये आपका मैंगो ये एपी काप ये आपका गोटली कड़क वाला लकड़े जैसा दैट इज एंडो काप उसके अंदर सीड है ये जो पार्ट आप खाते हो वो मीसो काप है बराबर है तो कोकोनट में क्या है कोकोनट जो ग्रीन वाला रहता है पानी पीने का तो ग्रीन वाला पार्ट है क्या वो आपका एपी काप है जो आपको मार्केट में मिलता है पूजा के लिए ब्राउन वाला वो फाइबर स्ट्रक्चर इन ऑल सिस्टिंग ये ऐसा है फिर फाइबर स्ट्रक्चर इन ऑल सिस्टिंग करेक्ट वो लकड़े के बाजू में वो जो फाइबर स्ट्रक्चर है वो मीसो काप है करेक्ट जिसके अंदर जो कड़क वाला पार्ट है वो एंडो काप सी मीजो काफ एंडो काप तो आपको व्हाइट वाला जो फ्रूट आप यूज करते हो कोकोनट जो खाते हो एक्चुअली कोकोनट का चटनी बनाते हो मिठाई बनाते हो जो खाते हो पार्ट एक्चुअली पूजा में भी यूज करते हो वो प्रसाद के तौर पे जो कोकोनट दिया जाता है वो व्हाइट वाला पार्ट है दैट इज ए एंडोस्पॉम और जो नारियल पानी पीते हो दैट इज ए एंडोस्पॉमिक फ्लूड तो अभी ये फाइबर स्ट्रक्चर है वो कहाँ से आया आपका मेजोकल मीसो का अभी समझ में आया आपको यस मैम ओके तो राइट आंसर इज मीसो का हो गया मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू इन साइड मेच्योर वेस्कुलर बंडल मेरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू इन साइड द मेच्योर वेस्कुलर बंडल इज पेलम रो केम्बियम इंटरफेसिकुलर केम्बियम फेस्टिकुलर केम्बियम बोलो Ah ah ah! No, Kushi dear. What you are saying is this part. I am talking about this part. Understood, Kushi. Fascicular cambium. Fascicular cambium is the right answer. If it would have been. If the content would have been intrafascicular cambium, then also it is correct. Intrafascicular, then also this is correct. Means it can also be called as inter intrafascicular or fascicular cambium. That is the cambium present in the vascular bundle. Agreed? Not in between the vascular bundle. इन बिटवीन द वेस्कुलर बंडल यानी कि वो आपका इंटर हो गया इंट्रा कॉलेजेट एंड इंटर कॉलेजेट कॉम्पिटिशन इंट्रा कॉलेजेट यानी कि अपने ही कॉलेज में अपने ही डिवीजन में अपना कॉम्पिटिशन है करेक्ट इंटर कॉलेजेट यानी कि दूसरे कॉलेज से कॉम्पिटिशन है सेम वे इंटर एंड इंट्रा हो गया कॉक केमियम रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कॉक विच बिकम्स इम्पॉर्मेबल टू वॉटर Due to the accumulation of resins, suberin, lignins, tannins. Answer, bolo. Nobody. Suberin. You suggest any answer for this? Hmm. Suberin is the correct answer. That is the chemical component. Next, vascular bundles in cucurbita stem. Vascular bundle in cucurbita stem are. Conjoint bundle in cucurbita stem are. Conjoint collateral open. Con Close. Kushi, you are correct. आप लोग का ट्वेल्थ का एग्जाम नहीं है ना? मैम? हाँ. 
can you explain what happened twenty third me four options let him talk no problem in between i will also listen my dear friends so wants to talk to you all dear students please uh, so you can everyone talk. on your camera okay everyone must on the camera सब अपना कैमरा ऑन कीजिए तिवारी सर को आपसे बात करनी है Only one student is seen on the camera. Others are all yet sleeping. What about others? Sleeping. Mama, ne acha nasta diya na? Ten baje se gyara baje tak kaya. Pet bhar le le hai. To zo pay cha. हेलो कैसे हैं आप लोग अनम्यूट करो यस सर कैसे हैं आप लोग ठीक है कैसे हो ठीक है सर सर नो लाइफ नहीं लाइट नहीं है नहीं वो लोग लाइफ नहीं है एकदम आराम से सोए के आंसर करेंगे मैडम कोरोना भी कोरोना में क्या हो गया है कि इन लोगों को सिर्फ माँ बाप अच्छे से खाना खिला रहे हैं और ये सभी अपना वेट बढ़ा रहे हैं इनको कुछ चिंता अच्छा नहीं है अभी हम टेस्ट शुरू करेंगे ना टेस्ट करेंगे तो मालूम पड़ जाएगा टेस्ट हम शुरू करने वाले हैं अभी कब है टेस्ट ओके ये वीक में टेस्ट है इसका टाइम टेबल दे देंगे और सबको देना है और नीट एक अगस्त को है वो है और उसके आसपास ही सीटी और जेई के डेट्स आ रहे हैं और वो एग्जाम के ऊपर ही आपका सब कुछ है कुछ लोग हैं जो हमको भी नहीं समझ पा रहे हैं और पेरेंट्स तो उनको समझ नहीं पा रहे हैं आज ही हम देख रहे हैं कई लोगों को कि फोन चालू है लेक्चर चालू है और अपने अलग चालू हैं ऐसा होना नहीं चाहिए और ये आप समझ लीजिए कि जून चालू हो गया जुलाई है मतलब साठ दिन बचा नहीं सत्तावन फिफ्टी सेवन एट फिफ्टी एट डेज बचा है और उसमें ही आपका पूरा लाइफ है चाहे नीट देना है चाहे जेई देना है चाहे सीटी देना है आप लोग तैयार कहीं भी नहीं है खाली बात बड़ी बड़ी कर रहे हैं पेरेंट्स से मोबाइल मिल गया है क्लास के नाम पर उसी में सब कुछ चल रहा है सोशल वर्किंग सोशल वर्कर सब मर गए अब तुम लोग नए सोशल वर्कर बन गए हो ये बिल्कुल ठीक नहीं है अभी लेक्चर हम लोग तो दे रहे हैं आपको टेस्ट शुरू करेंगे टेस्ट को मॉनिटरिंग मैं ही करने वाला हूं और टेस्ट के रिजल्ट के बाद तुरंत मेरा फोन आएगा आपके पेरेंट्स को और अभी पंद्रह के बाद मैं आराम से आपको बुलाऊंगा अगर ऑफलाइन लेक्चर नहीं भी शुरू हुआ तो आपको बुला के तो बिठा लूंगा क्लास में इसलिए आप लोग बच्चे नहीं हो आप लोग अपने कैरियर ईयर के अंतिम पड़ाव पर हो कुल मिलाकर पचास पचपन दिन बाकी है बस इसी से आपकी जिंदगी बननी है 
अगर आप दो घंटा पढ़ोगे तो 110 घंटा पढ़ोगे चार घंटा पढ़ोगे तो 220 घंटा मिलेगा अगर आठ घंटा पढ़ोगे तब 440 घंटा मिलेगा मतलब आप कुछ कर पाओगे टाइम बहुत कम है और कुछ दिक्कत है कुछ दिक्कत है कुछ नहीं समझ में आ रहा है कुछ प्रॉब्लम है आप लोगों को देविका देविका कैसे यस सर कुछ प्रॉब्लम है सर सब ठीक चल रहा है सर सर राजी यस सर कैसे चल रहा है बोलता था दो कुछ दिक्कत तो नहीं है ना नहीं सर सब ठीक चल रहा है कीर्ति तुमको छह सौ के ऊपर जाना है ठीक है छह सौ क्रॉस करना है पिताजी डॉक्टर हैं मम्मी डॉक्टर होने वाली है और तुमको उससे बड़ा डॉक्टर बनना है यस सर और यहाँ पर बहुत सारे लोग हैं जिनके मन में है डॉक्टर बनने की इच्छा इस क्लास में बहुत सारे लोग जुड़े हुए हैं हमारी शुभकामनाएं हमारा सपोर्ट है आपको क्या चाहिए हम सब कुछ देने को तैयार हैं खाली आप मेहनत करो और मेरा एक रिक्वेस्ट है कि दो महीने अपने लिए दे दो अब तक जो किया किया अब से तो दे दो तुम्हारे जिंदगी का इसके बाद करियर ईयर नहीं आएगा अब करियर ईयर नहीं बचा ये करियर मैं फिर हम बात करेंगे चंपा मैडम यस सर हमारे बच्चे लोग कैसा कर रहे हैं आपके हिसाब से सो दे आर डूइंग इट बट द प्रोसेस इज स्लो आई हैव टोल्ड देम संकेत सर टू अनम्यूट देम एंड दे आंसर मी आल्सो एमसीक्यूज आई थिंक इफ दे आर डूइंग दे कैन डू बेटर Yeah, they can do, but they're lazy. Hmm. That laziness has to go. ठीक hmm. है मैडम आप अपनी बात कीजिए थैंक यू सो मच और मोस्ट वेलकम सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर मोटिवेटिंग देम थैंक यू थैंक यू ओके ओके शुड वी स्टार्ट नाउ बास्केट ऑफ बंडल इन कुकर पीटर स्टेम इज We have done the type of vascular bundle. You can read it. Just one page behind. We said it is radial conjunction, and then it was collateral, bicollateral, concentric. So, cooker beta stem. We have told you that proem is the outside, then cambial stem. Yeah, that's right. So, the vascular bundle. Well, all your cooker beta stem is conjoint bicollateral. In bicollateral, so it open. is open. Which is the answer? Tell me. Option which one is it? C. Option is C. Correct. C. Conjoint bicollateral open. Perfect. Match the plants in the column one with their modification in column two, and choose the right option given below. Ginger. Ginger is showing what modification? Aerial, subaerial, underground. Bolo. Underground. Underground. So it is fourth one. Next is pumpkin. Pumpkin is a fruit. Dudhi. Dudhi is a fruit, and dudhi will be having tendrils and all that thing because it is having a weak stem. Option A. Dudhi is having option A. That is flattened stem. No, no, ma'am. I am saying option A. Uh, option A for the question. Option A for the question. Okay, stem tendril. I am asking here. Bougainvillea is having what? Thorns. Thorns. Then Apensia. Flattened stem. Flattened stem. Abhi, who is having this? Four, three, two, one. Four, three, a. two, one. Option A. Perfect. Go further. The given inflorescence is. Cyathium, dicasial cyme, umbel, panicle. Panicle inflorescence. So out of question it is. I told you it is branched to this. Racemos. 
और कंपाउंड रेसिमो वो है नहीं अम्बल तो अम्ब्रेला के जैसा होना चाहिए तो वो भी नहीं है तो ये तो क्वेश्चन गया डाई केशियल तो इधर डाई ये अगर जो आपका इधर है तो इधर भी होना चाहिए डाई केशियल फिर इसका आता चाहिए डाई केशियल तो वैसा भी नहीं है तो बच्चा क्या ऑप्शन करेक्ट वेन अ फ्रूट डेवलप फ्रॉम द इन्फ्लुस इट इज अ कम्पोजिट फ्रूट इज इट ट्रू फॉल्स वी सेट सिंपल फ्रूट वन फ्ला वन फ्रूट एग्रीगेट फ्रूट वन फ्ला मेनी फ्रूट कंपोजिट फ्रूट मेनी फ्लास वन फ्रूट ट्रू तो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू ओके मीसो का एडिबल पार्ट इन एप्पल is it true or false miso cup is an edible part in apple are you na torus kha rahe ho na wo pura apple jo kha rahe ho to typical hai na yes it's not a true fruit as it is it's a false fruit so it's out Make of question miso cup to out of question only over there na to ye false statement then gyno basic style is seen in osimum wo to true hai osimum yani ki aapka tulsi tulsi mein gyno basic style hai wo to true hai statement that statement is true correct so i'll write that tick mark okay then hypanthodium is a special type of inflorescence वैसा वाला है करेक्ट सो इन यू फोर बाय स्पीशीज मगर हाइपेंथोडियम इज अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ इंफ्लुएंस फाउंड इन यू फोर बिया स्पीशीज इट इज नॉट इन यू फोर बिया स्पीशीज एक्चुअली हाइपेंथोडियम इज अ टाइप ऑफ फ्रूट नॉट एन इंफ्लुएंस बेसिकली इंफ्लुएंस विल बी साइथियम Hypanthodium is a fruit, not an inflorescence. So that statement is also incorrect. So now, which is the correct option now? Option B. Now you tell me. Option B. B. First and three are correct. Okay. Next, observe the given floral diagram and choose the suitable floral formula from the given options. The floral diagram is given to you. From that, you have to find out the correct option. यहाँ पे देखो, ये standard, ये wing, ये अले, या keel. Correct हो ना? Standard और vexillum, wing और अले, keel और carry नहीं ये वाला. तो ये fabesi का है. Fabesi का floral formula बताओ. Irregular, bisexual. मगर उसमें Calyx is five. They are fused together. मगर इधर तो दोनों free है. ये fused है. लेकिन वो नहीं है बराबर. तो corolla में it is one large, two lateral and two slightly united. तो ये वाला है corolla. Then androecium is nine. C option. Perfect. मिल गया? Nine plus one. हाँ. A is nine plus one. Perfect. Then it is this. Option is C. मिला? How to identify it? on the basis of this floral mm. uh, this diagram correct next the cloves which are used in food preparation are jab clove khate ho na lavang wo kya hai exactly seeds hai leaves hai floral buds hai stem tips hai kya hai wo florets लवंग खाते हो ना वो क्या है परफेक्ट परफेक्ट देवी का सब बर्ड्स परफेक्ट नहीं है इट इज फ्लावर बर्ड्स करेक्ट इट इज साक्षी परफेक्ट एज ऑफ अ ट्री कैन बी एस्टीमेटेड बाय एज ऑफ द ट्री कैन बी एस्टीमेटेड बाय नंबर ऑफ एनुअल रिंग्स डायमीटर ऑफ एनुअल रिंग्स इट्स एज तो बायोमास विद व्हाट यू कैन एस्टीमेट द दिस नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ एनुअल रिंग्स Perfect. 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 It is. Next is flowers are unisexual in unisexual flowers. Ah, huh? China rose, onion, pea, cucumber. Bolo. Flowers are unisexual. 
cucumber correct correct cucumber go to the next one in one plant underground stems are modified to store food and in another plant the stem tendrils develop from axillary buds to help plants climb they are respectively kaun se hai doro bolo ye to root and stem hai ho jayega ye ye bhi root hai but that is also root that is out of question these are both stems these are both stems abhi bolo kya hai in one plant underground stems are modified ginger and cucumber correct it is first option first option is a correct answer go to the next one anthesis is a phenomena which refers to anthesis is a phenomena which refers to stigma respectively re receptivity diesis of anthos viability of the pollen opening of the floral bud viability of the Polo. pollen nay 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 Right. Anthology is uh, perfect here. Prachi, you are perfect. Anthology is study of flowers. So, anthesis is opening of flowers. Opening of floral bud. Of floral bud. They are correct. Perfect. Lodicules are scale-like structures found below the ovary of the flower of. लॉडिक्यूल्स एक्चुअली ये है अपना आपका ग्रामीणी फैमिली यानी कि आपका वीट जवार बाजरा मेज वगैरह जो है ना उसमें मिलता है आपको करेक्ट वीट लिली मस्टर्ड संस्था इट इज वीट परफेक्ट अ सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ एज सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ प्रोसीड इन डाइकॉट स्टेम द थिकनेस ऑफ सैप फूड इंक्रीजेस हार्ट फूड इंक्रीजेस बोथ सैप फूड एंड हार्ट फूड इंक्रीजेस बोथ सैप फूड एंड हार्ट फूड रिमेन्स द सेम Sapwood no, no. increases. No, it is heartwood. That is the vascular bundles is increasing, na? Hmm. Hmm. आपका उधर का ये cortex वगैरह नहीं बढ़ता है, epidermis वगैरह नहीं बढ़ता है. आपका क्या बढ़ रहा है? Vascular tissues बढ़ रहा है ना? Secondary xylem, secondary phloem बढ़ रहा है. Cambium की वजह से. So heartwood it is increasing. Correct? Hmm. go to the next one gynandrous condition means gynandrous this is gynaecium this is androecium gynandrous condition means addition of stamens and carpels cohesion of stamens stamens united by filaments only pre stamens follow a. a addition of stamens and carpels that is gynaecium and androecium spadix type of inflorescence is seen in spadix banana Mulberry, oak, coriander. All of which one is having spadix type? ये वाला inflorescence किसका है? Magenta color का. आपको याद है? आप लोग खाते भी हो ये. मिलता है बाजार में. ऐसा इन्फ्लुएंसर रहता है पर्पल कलर का मैजेंडा कलर रानी कलर बनाना 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 परफेक्ट सो दिस इज ऑब्जर्वड इन स्पैडिस इज ऑब्जर्वड इन बनाना नेक्स्ट इज द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ जाइलम इन स्टेम इज अरेंजमेंट ऑफ जाइलम इन स्टेम इज व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय दैट इन द एंटाच कंडीशन मींस व्हाट Metazylum is towards the periphery and protozylum is towards the middle. Correct, na? If you can recollect, I told you all regularly. Metazylum towards the periphery, protozylum towards the middle. Exact me, metazylum towards the middle, protozylum towards the periphery. Ye hand in hand jata hai, ye ulta ja raha hai cross me. Correct? So this is observed in the case of roots. This is observed in the case of stem. Kya zaya? 
हम लोग ने क्लास में किया था एग्जैक्ट एंड एंड में डिस्टिंग्विशिंग याद आया कि नहीं यस मैम आर थर्टी नाइन विल फिनिश इट ऑफ आर टूडे पांच मिनट एक्स्ट्रा लगेगा नो प्रॉब्लम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ एपिडेमल टिश्यू सिस्टम कंपेनियन सेल्स ट्राइकोम्स रूट हेयर गार्ड सेल्स बोलो विच इज नॉट अपने प्लेसेंटेशन इन डायशन बी option b correct that is your excel as a sapna free central presentation hmm. next is green leaf like modified aerial stem or branches, branches. with single internode are called as like nodes option b cladodes are called as cladodes asparagus wagera mein maine bola tha hota hai then is thalamus of hypogynous ovary is convex of hypogynous ovary is convex convex concave then flat with partially cup shaped none of these uh, ma'am option a convex option a convex okay type of estivation shown by pisum is pisum is a axillary axillary okay the root cap is not used in absorption of water ma'am option b absence of root hair Are you sure? Perfect. Yes, ma'am. So that we are finished with this also. Okay. Lesson number. Now next time, what lesson we are going to do? I told you already. So you have to meet and come. That is which one? Lesson number seven. Cell division. Cell cycle and cell division. Okay. So next lecture, ma'am, we are going to do cell cycle and cell division. All the best. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Should we discontinue? Okay bye bye ma'am